Hello, I'm Gerhard Paar from Your Name Research in Graz in Austria. I'll introduce a workflow for generating 3D ground truth for Rover Image 3D vision testing. This has been a collaboration between Your Name Research and ViaVis, two research entities from Austria, and GMV Innovating Solutions from Madrid, who coordinated the ADE Horizon 2020 project, dealing with autonomous decision-making in very long traverses. 3D vision on planetary rovers is the primary perception data source for localization, for image-based mapping and navigation, but also for autonomous functions such as science target recognition. True mosaics for in understanding the scientific context is another use case. Note that we do not have the opportunity to collect ground truth on planetary surfaces. Even in the terrestrial case, it is quite some effort to generate real ground truth an order of magnitude more precise than the functions to be tested. Our approach is therefore to use simulations for generating ground truth. Note that we also have to account for huge scale differences within single rover images, often millimeter on the bottom to kilometer per pixel at the horizon. To get realistic, such ground truth requires high fidelity, means close to reality appearance. So we suggest to use real data sets instead of simulated ones, as a basis. Here is the overall approach to gain such high fidelity ground truth based on real datasets. We capture images at different levels of detail. In the specific case, this is using drones for the aerial more global scale and handheld directly on the sites to be simulated. In addition, ground control points are captured that shall be visible in the images. Structure from motion is then used to generate at least two differently scaled and sized 3D textured models. These models are fed into a rendering software that is able to fuse them and perform controlled rendering of simulated images. These form a ground truth database as their geometry is known from the rendering process. This is one simple case of data exploitation, namely the check of a stereo image based mapping workflow. The stereo images in the middle are taken from the ground truth database and the stereo matching and reconstruction workflow is applied. Straightforward data degradation may be applied to the images and their geometry to test further effects such as robustness. The test case for the workflow is a one-to-one -one geometric comparison between the gain stereo digital elevation model and the input model from the ground truth database. The Canary Island Fuerteventura had been chosen as the originally planned ADE test site. These are examples and scenarios of data capture with imagery both from drone and terrestrial, even hybrid, as well as uh, differential GPS points distributed in the scene and visible in the images. Structure from motion is a standard method to generate high-resolution, three-dimensional computer models from many digital images captured from a scene. Workflows are offered by commercial software such as Metashape, Pix4D or Reality Capture. You see immediate states of the formation of such models depicted to the left as they show up in the graphical user interfaces of such tools. Initial textured point clouds as well as image poses are illustrated. The user is guided through the process with more or less automatic supports. The imaging ground control points import allows the identification, does image alignment, generates the first model, which is then refined, textured and exported. This leads in our case to two independent textured models with substantially different resolution and dimensions. For the actual data fusion and rendering, we use PRO3D, which stands for Planetary Robotics 3D Viewer. It has been designed for the exploration and geologic interpretation of planetary surface reconstructions with a visual experience close to field investigations. PRO3D enables to generate large volumes of ground truth images, making use of an extension that allows batch rendering. The workflow starts with the definition of so-called snapshots. Then the 3D datasets are imported, which are formed from so-called ordered point clouds. 
a, a hierarchical data structure, which makes the rendering much more efficient. Pro3D then executes the individual snapshots and in such way generates the simulated ground truth images, each of which is also known in its precise geometry. This is how an initial data fusion looks like and what the final dimensions of the example datasets are. One can see that the datasets still intersect each other due to subtle misalignment. A further alignment step makes sure that the high resolution dataset fully overlays the aerial one. By the way, this could also be realized by the so-called priority rendering function in Pro3D. In addition, radiometric adjustment can be made between the two datasets. This is an example for the visual odometry sequence with stereo images captured on board of a virtual rover every 10 centimeters of travel with image geometry and snapshot definition. This data can be inserted into a navigation module based on visual odometry. Here you see the gain tracking points, the point cloud generated during virtual travel and the output, such as the resulting calculated displacement, which can be compared to the given 10 centimeter from ground truth. Simulation in general allows various exploitation modes, also when using real planetary data, as you see on the left hand side, or for the generation of training data sets for AI machine learning, as we did in a previous project called Mars DL, placing additional objects to be automatically found. Other exploitation modes could also combine various functions in predefined sequences or insert the simulation into a closed loop real time chain where ground truth images are called up on demand. Now for the conclusions. Within the ADE project, we could demonstrate and implement a high fidelity method to generate realistically rendered rover ground truth images. Its default workflow uses two levels of detail with applying structure from motion to aerial and terrestrial image sequences to generate ordered point clouds. Those are used within the visualization software Pro3D for 3D data fusion and batch rendering. A Mars analog site on the island of Fuerteventura was used as a demonstration venue. To give a hint for end-to-end -end data exploitation, we briefly showed the evaluation of a visual odometry quantifiable behavior. We have a couple of extensions in mind, such as going beyond digital terrain models on the modeling front, add at least one more level of detail, apply noise to the gained image data and their poses to explore the robustness of the methods to be tested, elaborate a bit on the data presentations, such as adding the use of shaders, or even tackle additional sensors, such as IMU, coupled to the ground truth pose definition. The use cases already are manifold by our involvement in ExoMars and Mars 2020 imaging, as well as HERA. The mentioned AI training is a further promising aspect and we expect a few more to come. Thanks a lot for watching.